Hi Aquarius and welcome to my channel. Let's take a look at what's coming out for you in terms of the new moon in Capricorn that is taking place on the 11th, all right? So we're gonna pull a few cards and we will find out uh, how, you know, kind of things that can help focus, uh, to help you focus your thoughts on this uh, Capricorn new moon. So what is going to be important for Aquarius? Let's take a look. And it's going to be important about what you need to focus in on, where you're putting your work and efforts into, and if it's going to, you know, make sense, all right, uh, based upon the efforts that you're putting in, okay? So let's dive in. Give me one more here for you. All right, all right. So let's take a look. What's at the bottom of the deck? Ah, you've got some sort of spiritual enlightenment. This is really nice, guys, because I feel that this is seeking spiritual enlightenment, and then I feel here that you're actually receiving it. So I kind of feel that uh, now that you kind of understand where you're at and at this moment and you have got some sort of enlightenment about what's bringing balance to your life all right this could be unions with someone you've got some sort of enlightenment with the unions you've been crowned with a wreath of success with the four of wands so this tells me that this is about you know parties celebrations home but it also is about a reunion. You could be coming in reunion, you know, within, you know, getting some sort of enlightenment and union in the mind, or this could be a passionate union between you and someone else. Uh, but there's a lot of excitement and celebration that's coming through here, okay? This is a really good sign, okay? Because what we're going to be talking about is like a little bit about um, your goals and if it's worth you kind of, uh, uh, if it's worth kind of all the efforts that you're putting into the situation. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Wow. Well, it looks like it is. Okay, guys, because I'm getting victory. So, you know, the price that you have to pay to reach your goals is to uh, focus in on having confidence. This is all about having confidence, having that wreath of success, being strong and moving forward. It's also about making improvements for you, Aquarius. So this is about making those improvements along the way, whatever that goal is for you here. Um, the cost of you putting in the work is going to actually result in victory and success is what's coming through. So I think this is pretty powerful for you at this time, all right? And uh, anything more that will be important? The Ace of Pentacles. Keep your eyes on the prize. You, Whatever it is that you want, manifest it. There's new opportunities that are coming your way. Focus in on your resources and abundance and manifest prosperity is what this talks about, okay? So keep your eyes on the prize. It's going to be worth the efforts that you've been paying for. So whatever it is that you've been wanting to focus in on and accomplish, it's going to be worth it, all right? Um, I love this. So let me just pull something really quick. I want to move something around. Um, okay, all right, so it's going to be very, very helpful. Uh, anything else that would be important for you to keep in mind? What do we have for you that comes through? What is it that is important for Aquarius? What do we got? Ah, the communicative. You could be dealing with a Gemini, uh, but this is coming face to face with someone. But it's also being very communicative, you know, between you and another person. So you could be coming together with someone, uh, you know, just comes out that this could be, uh, you know, a Gemini that you might be dealing with or you might have a Gemini within your chart. So that could be the case as well. But I feel that you are focusing in on, uh, you know, coming together perhaps with someone uh, or this is, you know, so you're not, so you can actually work together perhaps with someone as well. So that's coming through too. Um, but yeah, that's what I see coming through here. Being very communicative. So maybe in the work that you do involves communications, involves you speaking, um, you know, in that duality of speaking and receiving and uh, you again, you could be you know working or dealing perhaps with a Gemini uh, in this process as well. So I like that. Um, anything more that'll be most important for Aquarius regarding their ventures? What do we get? Yeah, it's about transforming. Like communication has been transformed. This could be the way that you talk to yourself or the way that you're talking as you move forward. Now, communications could be something that you're into. You could be taking a class. You could be focusing in on, uh, you know, honing in on your communication. And this is transformation in your communication. This is the throat chakra and this is with spirit. So this is a, a, a transformation uh, that has been brought about that brings forth confidence, which is that yellow there, okay? So keep that in mind. So I do feel that the cost of your ambition of what you're going after is going to be definitely worth it, okay? 
Uh, so let's go ahead and move on and see what else seems, seems to come through here. Um, the cost of, um, you know, this is, the full is in reverse here. So I feel that, um, let's pull another card on this because I'm feeling that this is about being distracted. This is about, you know, uh, this is about being foolish or gullible in some sort of way. So, you know, you know, it's like, um, don't, let me pull another card to see what more uh, in the vein of this uh, card wants to come through. This wants to come through. What is this? Yeah, it wants to balance something out. It wants you to balance something out. Justice energy could be done with a Libra. This is something that is fair. Bring in justice. Bring in something that is fair. So you're looking for justice in a situation. So, um, you know, to bring in balance, um, it's time to bring in balance right now. And in the situation, it's about birthing something new, okay? So it's almost as like if you don't take the, if you don't kind of move forward in some sort of, um, new beginning or if you if you fail to be um to balance out something that has been what's the word that i'm looking like like don't be foolish don't be distracted don't be careless or reckless this wants you to get rid of your distractions and focus in on what you want the birthing of something new so you can balance something out you got two major arcanas here okay so libra energy you know even coming out in both of these here so I feel that there is an opportunity for you to birth something new, but it wants you to stay on track, Aquarius. Do not get distracted, okay? Um, that's going to be key. What can help you to make sure that that takes place? What is it? The star card, you. <laughs> Look at this. You can help yourself, right? So this is about following your true north. And this, the star card is all about like new inspiration. Make sure that you're not distracted um, and focus on what you want. This is serenity and focus on your renewal. Focus on being content and also focus on your creativity because I have, I feel that there is spiritual healing and creativity that is coming forth. And this is about using your creativity to make change. And here, this is what I like because you're making change right there with the star card uh, to bring a balance to your life. And what else? Look at the Empress energy came out again. It's time to birth something new. Do something a little bit different and in a different way in you know, is, is what is coming through for you here. Okay. Anything more that you need to be aware of. Okay. If you, if you fail to reach your goals or what scares you is starting something new, it's time to focus on that creativity and birth. It wants you to birth. You, it's, it needs you to move forward. Look at Capricorn. The boss is coming through. So what this is telling me in this new moon is that to boss up exactly what I, I was thinking here, guys, it's time to balance things out and boss up. Be who you are meant to be, all right, is what's coming through. So it's time to step up and step out, especially during this new moon. And you have the backup here, okay? You've got all the backup that you need, all right? You know, this is all about career success and developing a structure for that. So, you know, what you need to do so you don't fail is go towards the adva advancement. Strive for higher status, responsibility, and structure structure and success in what you do okay it is also about uh being a strict teacher of life and attain your valuable deep insights through your trials that you've gone through and this is is like being that uh, you know being the just and, and serious one okay so um this is about a pursuit of success in your career and having that emotional control and the clarity okay so really focus in on, uh, you know, really focus in on, um, you know, not being, you know, rigid or any, uh, any of any sorts, but focus on your structure and clarity moving towards what it is that you want. It's going to be key and the new moon's going to help you in this aqua. Okay. So love, love, love this. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next card and see what comes through. Um, let's take a look. Okay, so what do we have here? What you can strive for, uh, like how can you compromise? Um, and I get the King of Swords in reverse. So this is maybe, I gotta get another card on this because that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, it's in reverse. So what it is, like how can you compromise? How do you meet yourself halfway? I think it's about getting out of your head, all right? It, it, it's, it's like you have been focused on that, but let's pull a little bit more on the cards and see what comes through. What do we get? Yeah, this is getting some sort of resurrection in a situation. 
Look at this major arcana that is coming out for you here. You know, this is Virgo energy, and this is, you know, some sort of resurrection of some sort. This is self, um, you know, uh, awakening of self. So, you know, what it is, is like you've been in the mind and there's an awakening of self when you've gone within and you notice this, the star within you, you're being strong and you're seeing the bigger picture. So this is a new resurrection, getting out of the head, resurrecting into new life. And then I feel that this is being strong and, and like I said, seeing the bigger picture. Give me more on this for you. What seems to want to come out within this process? What else do we get? Um, let's take a look at the star deck. Let's take a look and see what comes through. What is going to be helpful for you in terms of like how you can compromise? Uh, what do I get? The emperor. To um, you know, this is an Aries. This is to develop a strong, solid structure. See the bigger picture. Reinvent yourself in some sort of way. Resurrect just being in the head. And what else do I get? The queen of cups. Use your intuition in the process as well. So it wants you to kind of balance your head with your heart or your head with your intuitive abilities to get something on strong, solid structure, okay? Um, it wants you to go a little bit more in the middle, not just intellectually, but it, to see the bigger picture so you can balance something out for a strong, solid foundation uh, to bring some loyalty, to bring fairness, but use your intuition in this process. Anything more? What do we get? The Six of Wands. Wow, guys. This is about self-confidence, progress, success, re recognition, victory. Um, you know, it's it's this card that you got um, right over here, in fact. Um, where is it? Is it over here? <laughs> uh, where is it? Here it is, right here. Six of Wands is coming out again. So what this is interesting is that you, uh, what scares you most is stepping out in your confidence here and, and pushing forward, all right, or, or not achieving what you want. So what you're asked to do is to balance out the heart and the head, step into your confidence uh, using that, that uh, the new moon in Capricorn and being the boss, bossing up in, not only in the mind, but also within using your intuitive abilities and balancing things out in, in, in your heart against some sort of adversity, all right? So uh, anything more that is going to be important for you and like on how you can uh, uh, move forward, all right, in, in the situation, welcome a new beginning. It's welcoming a new way or a new beginning, guys, is what I'm getting. It's time to welcome a new way of being and get the support from others, all right? Maybe that you're used to being a one-man or one-woman show. And this is saying come together with others because it's really going to help. You're going to help you with the support and it's and, and, and get the support that you need for the self-love to, to bring this forward for you, all right? Let's uh, go ahead and pull another card to see what is going to be most important on, on how you can actually move forward uh, and, and make uh, progress, all right? This is not being combative, not being argumentative in any sort of way. Not that Aries always, you know, is. This is just saying is that um, maybe if your first inclination is to get angry, stop at that for a moment and just check in with yourself to balance out the head and the heart, right? So I feel that that is something that's coming into play that's going to be very, very key, okay? So really focus in on that and and, and balancing something out. Think before that. It's like a, it's like it's like a, things begin to bloom. All right, during this time, uh, this is a birthing of something new, and this has to do, um, you know, with with Aries. It has to do with like yourself and your identity, and I feel it has to do with self love in some sort of way. All right, the inner, the the you know, Aries is that inner energy, that passion, right, guys. It's the driving to be victorious and successful. And getting this twice in your read, that there is a need to drive and to use this Aries energy to really help you, okay? So this is saying, be brave, be self-determined, Aquarius. Have that fighting spirit and drive and willpower you know, to balance things out and be self-assured and dynamic, okay? Because this is a bit new beginning in any form of your life. Now, this could be a new job, a new relationship, but it also can stand for some sort of struggle that you might have, okay? Uh, and so really ask yourself, or how assertive are you in a certain matter towards what you want? Uh, and maybe that do you need to push yourself a little bit more? That could be the case as well, okay? Now, if you were born with a son in Aries, 
um, you know, that might be a di in a difficult situation at this time, um, then, um, you know, that, that could be that, uh, you're, it's about overcoming something, but I'm, I'm doing, I'm focusing in on you, but this is taking on that, that, uh, uh, really focusing in on having that collaborative approach, but still pushing forward. So let's find out, um, on, you know, what makes you desire for, you know, what is it that you need to do? You know, what is it that makes you desire the ambition that you want? All right. What else do I get? Uh, it's a transition. It's about making a transition because you want to, you want a different perspective on something. So this is is you want to be the boss, and it's about seeing something from a different perspective and moving to calmer waters. Um, some of you, you know, and it's actually to get out of any sort of bondage of the past. It's kind of like you want to leave something to boss up and see something from a different perspective in the mind, and you want to go to something that's a little bit calmer for you. Maybe in what you were doing is something that you want to change in some way. I get the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, and then a lot of, you know, air energy here. But it's moving on and making the decision to make a change to get out of the bondage of maybe something you've been currently working on or something that has kept you in bondage. Uh, but this is you bossing up and doing it is what I'm getting. So maybe you crave to work with others or, or be the boss or, or you know, um, you know maybe that uh, maybe for some of you, you might want a new job and have a boss. Um, there's some sort of message with the Page of Cups. So some sort of uh, synchronicity that's being noted and then getting the clarity. So what you're getting clarity of what makes you want what you want, all right? And this is going to be key, all right? So focus in on why you want what you want, guys. Make sure that you know the why behind that, okay? Um, it might, might, could be something to connecting with spirit and the appreciation in matters of the heart. Like you want to feel appreciated um, but this is about getting appreciation from the guidance of your uh, of the mystical of the spiritual realm. So I feel that uh, I th feel that you are leaving an old bondage of something behind and being able to move on into something different. It's almost like there's a new life cycle happening here. It's like the wheel of fortune is what I get that's coming through. Home and family. Mm, you want a home and family, and you want to change something in some sort of way. This is the fourth house. Um, so I feel that in a situation that you could be focusing in on, you know, making some sort of shift or change, it could be that, uh, now that you usually with the fourth house, it deals with like your private life, your psychological foundation and subconscious patterns. Some of you are dropping an old way of being or your old way from heritage of the past and you are making change and you want to bloom a new energy and to create your own home and family. So maybe that is something that you are, you know, focusing in on at this moment. That could be the case. So um, for some of you, that is the case. So it could be that that's coming through here. Um, anything else that would be important for you to keep in mind? Uh, anything else to keep in mind in this part? What do we get? Blessings. You're being blessed home and family, building a home and family, you're trying to create balance and harmony and stability about where you're at and create a home of stability. This is what I'm getting, guys. And this is uh, getting the blessings that you deserve. Oh my gosh. Um, very, very interesting. Okay. Um, yeah. And then I get with the King of Rods that this is really important. This is about like, you know, what you've been unable to let go. This is about being that visionary entrepreneur. Maybe some of you are going to work uh, versus being an entrepreneur. Or some of you, um, you know, where you've been stubborn, it's, it's something about the vision, okay? Aries Leo Sagittarius. Uh, movement forward on the vision. Some of you have been maybe procrastinating in some sort of way. But the, this new moon in Capricorn is going to allow you to, again, boss up, right? To be the boss, step up, um, and, and put in the effort. Uh, energy, effort, adventure, passion. Uh, maybe that, you know, what has been, what maybe where you've been too stubborn is in that vision of pushing forward, okay? Of having, of, of, of getting the passion to move forward. What do I get? Uh, this is about focusing in on the inner strength, Leo energy. It wants you to summon up that Leo energy uh, to tap into that inner strength. So focus on your inner strength. That's going to help you, uh, you know, to pursue the ambition of what you want and it's going to help you reach towards the legacy and the wealth and security uh, that you're looking for is what I'm getting. Uh, anything more that could be most helpful for you, okay? All right, what do we get? 
uh, having, uh, don't compare yourself to others, okay? If you've been too stubborn, don't compare yourself to others. Maybe you've been unable to let go of that comparison thing and remember your why. This is for you, not anyone else. So make sure that you know why you're doing what you're doing and not compare yourself to others is going to be key, okay? Because it's time to begin again in a brand new way, Aquarius, is what I'm getting. The sun is coming out. It, it, it's, it's telling you to begin either in a new way in something that you're doing uh, or ch shift, change directions in some sort of way, all right? Uh, and that seems to be what's coming through. Uh, anything more in terms of... You know, maybe about what you've been unable to let go, what is uh, going to be important for you. It wants you to begin again. All right? Yeah, inner healing. Ah, letting go. This is, uh, Chiron, this is like inner healing in some sort of way. So I feel that in the situation that um, you, it, it's like you've done a lot of healing at this moment. And I feel that there is an opportunity to be able to push forth in some sort of way. So I think that this is about the wounds. This is about the walls of protection. You don't you you um, have gone through some major healing, and maybe that it's it, it what you need to let go is the release, the the, uh, the 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 childhood wounds or injuries or pain. This is that that uh, Chiron that inner healing. So it's it's emphasized about like um, it symbolizes like our pain that we want to accept and to be healed and, and be resolved and, and bring as wisdom into the new world. And so, so you can be more open to spiritual practices. So that's what I'm getting within this card, okay? Um, it, it's, it refers to the parts that might be hidden, maybe the talents in your life that, that you may have kept hidden out of fear of being rejected or, not, you know, or, not, or loved. But the, Chiron is a star sign. And it's the inner wounds of inner hurt. So it's time, uh, it's, time to, it's resolving the pain to healing. And this is about hidden gifts. It wants you to bring out your hidden gifts, not compare yourself to others. And um, it wants you to focus in on inner strength and the passion to be able to move forward and begin again, but in a new way, okay? In a new way, okay? So um, yeah, hidden talents are need to come out right now, okay? And it's it's time for you to let go uh, of the uh, of the of the past and to take the wisdom moving forward in the future. Yeah, this is like your inner voice. You it's listening to that that inner voice and getting it grounded so it can bloom. Now you've gone through the darkness and now it's about moving forward in the other way, grounding it with this new Earth energy in Capricorn so you can bloom. Very interesting. Okay. What makes you desire what you want? Because you have an opportunity. You get the magician energy. You have the opportunity to bring to life what you want on this earth plane. This is, this is all about this, guys. It's all about this beautiful magician energy. It is, you know, what makes you desire this ambition is like a dream. You have a dream. And it's time to live that dream and start putting in the roots and the grounded structure during this new moon, guys, okay? So this is what I'm getting. Anything more? Yeah, this is about celebrating your passion. You have a dream to celebrate your passion, all right? And it's about bringing balance and knowing that you've got all the tools to create what it is that you want. Now, this could be person, place, or thing that's coming through, okay? But you have it all to move forward in, in what it is that you want. Anything more that comes through on what makes you desire your ambition, your inspiration. You've been enlightened. You've gone through something that has enlightened you and it's time for something to bloom and you want to bring it to the world in a way so you can help others, all right, is what I'm getting. Yep, and this is with new vitality. You've transformed. You've got the sun card, the hangman, and the magician on what it, what, what is it that makes you desire that ambition, and this is about a revival. You've come out of something and been enlightened and you are the creator of your reality and you want to share with others that they are also the creator of their own reality, guys. This is powerful. This is a powerful new moon for you guys, all right? Uh, anything more? What do we get? The Knight of Wands. Here's that passion. Now moving forward. Moving forward with energy, passion, adventure, and all of that. It's, 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 you're ready. You're ready to, to, to put the vision. 
start revitalizing that new energy. You're moving forward with that new energy. And then what? You're alchemizing it with this Virgo energy. You're being that alchemist now. This is focusing in almost like that hermit energy. You're going within and being that alchemist that you want to see. And you're going to create that alchemy um, you know, of the past energy of the wounds and healing and putting it towards your purpose and being able to visualize and take those first steps on what it is that you want, okay? Um, there has been some sort of successful completion at the bottom of the deck, the world card, and this is success. It's time for you to see the world differently and to step into the world in a different way and show the talents and, and with your creativity. That reduces to a three of communication and creativity. It has to do with communication in some sort of way, guys. So I'm going to leave it there. Note your comments, guys. Like and subscribe. If you're looking for a personal read, I have them on sale uh, just for like a few more days. So if you're interested, it's the perfect time, Aqua, especially for you at this moment. So you'll, you click the link in the description box below or up here. So until next time, namaste.